Welcome to episode 1177 of the Multifamily Collective. My name is Mike Brewer, and tonight I want to talk about vitamins, but not because of your health or not because I am a doctor uh, or because I'm playing one on the internet. I am not either of those things. So, but I think that there is a an analogy in the world of vitamins that fits the multifamily space, especially as it relates to teaching, training, mentoring, and coaching people, whether it be in management or leadership. So imagine for a second that you had a friend who was unhealthy in some way, and let's say it, it, it is a, a physical way, right? And, or yeah, physical way. So, and you cared about them. You really cared about them. So you took them aside one day and you sat them down and you said, Hey, let me teach you how to be healthy. And you grabbed a fistful of vitamins and you, you got a cup of water and you went over to your friend and you sort of like grab the back of their head and pulled it back and somehow help them open their mouth wide enough that you could shove a big handful of vitamins down their throat to get them healthy. And then you let them drink a big cup of water to wash down all those vitamins so that they could get healthy. Now, it's a ridiculous picture, right? You're not going to get somebody healthy by just shoving a bunch of vitamins down their throat. It's not a one-time fix. It's not something that you can just show up, press a button, and be done with. It doesn't work like that, right? It's a ridiculous analogy. However, it is applicable as it relates to many times in the multifamily space, and I'm sure this, is, this exists in industry at large, right? I think picture that comes to mind for me in the multifamily space is where you you hire a property manager, you hire a system manager, you hire a leasing consultant, you hire this. What I'm about to say is nothing new. You hire a regional manager and you bring him in and you say, I don't have any keys. Let's pretend this is a, a ring full of keys. You hand them the keys or you, you, handle, you hand them the app. You tell them where to download the app so they can get access to, to all the things in the building and you say good luck. It's the equivalent of shoving a fistful of vitamins down someone's throat and expecting them to be healthy. You give them the access, show them where the chair is, you give them a laptop and you say, good luck. Call me if you need something, but don't expect me to answer. <laughs> right? That happens in the multifamily space. It happens in business at large. Even in a scenario where you have good onboarding, right? Because you think that that one day of good onboarding, that two days of good onboarding, that three days of good onboarding, where you're shoving vitamins down their throat, where you're filling them up with online learning and memorizing the vision and the mission and the values of the organization and doing a little bit of role playing and taking fair housing and taking sexual harassment and taking a drug-free workplace. And, and at the end of all that, you think that they just, they got it. They got it. They're good. They're good. Let them go. They'll make it. Sink or swim. And then we're surprised when we get feedback through, in our case, Swift Bunny, uh, our employee engagement survey platform. Amazing group of people, by the way. If you're not using Swift Bunny, I endorse them. We are a client. I'm not getting paid for that. <laughs> But they are an amazing, amazing platform. And I encourage you to use them. Um, but you get the feedback through Swift Bunny and you're shocked. You're surprised that they're sinking, that they don't understand, that their onboarding was bad, that they didn't have the technology set up. You're surprised by that. So my encouragement to you today, don't try to shove vitamins down people's throats to get them healthy. Neither don't try to shove a tremendous amount of training and teaching and mentoring and coaching down someone's throat in the first three days of their multifamily experience because they will do nothing but throw it all up, right? And they will not be healthy and they will not be successful. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.